Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1541. Hey, in this video, we got to talk about adding sales between an upper and lower date time. And we'll use some ifs and date time knowledge. Here's the deal. If we have dates and times, and we need to use those in a formula as conditions or criteria, we got to know what's really in the cell below a date and a time. Because the solution will require that we add the date and the time to get the lower and upper limit. Now, a question came from Engel Quadi, and he asked, hey, how do I add between a date and a time and a second date and a time? In our example, we're going to have one date and two times. Up here, we have two dates and one time. But the solution for both of these is to combine the date and time. All right, so we need total sales from this column. We have date time here. There's our lower and upper hours. Both of these have to be combined with our date. Now, before we even start this, we got to know what a date is in Excel and what time is. Now, this is date time number formatting. If I come up to the number group, click the drop down and apply the general, that's the eraser number formatting to remove all number formatting to see exactly what's in the cell. All dates are serial number dates counting from the very first date in Excel history, January 1st, 1900. Time is always a decimal between 0 and 1, representing a proportion of a 24-hour day. So in this column, we have integer and decimal representing date and time. So if they're combined in this column, all we have to do for our lower and upper is to combine in our formula date and time. Now I'm going to Control Z. Now just in case date and times are new to you in Excel, click in some cell, type a 1, Control Enter, and then go up and apply the date number formatting. Sure enough, 1100, we can see up in the formula bar, that's the first day in Excel history. If I talk about time as a proportion of a 24-hour day, if you enter 8 AM, well, Excel divides it by 24. That's a decimal that represents the proportion of a 24-hour day. So if I come over here and apply time, there it is. All right, so our goal is we need to have lower combined, and then this will be our upper limit. We're going to use some ifs. Some ifs requires the numbers we want to add. Now, this is an Excel table, so I simply click with my downward pointing black arrow to highlight the whole column. That's the table name. There's the field name, comma. Criteria range, I'm going to have to select date time twice. With my downward pointing arrow, I click. I can move the screen tip out of the way because it's right on top of what I want. But there's criteria range 1. Now, we have to test whatever date time is in that column and make sure it's between the lower and upper limit. Now, first, we need a comparative operator, greater than or equal to. And it has to be in double quotes. And then we join it using the ampersand Shift 7 to date plus hour. Now, those are relative cell references. So as we copy our formula down, these will move to each new row. Now, I'm going to click on criteria 1 and use the F9 key to evaluate this and see what exactly this condition is. F9. And we see there's the comparative operator, greater than or equal to, and just the date part. Because for the lower limit, that's midnight. So we're trying to find from this column. And notice greater than is pointing over here. So it gets a true only when it finds a date time greater than or equal to 1 to 19. All right, Control Z. That's only the first part of our AND logical test. Comma, criteria to range, I highlight the date time column again, comma, and now I'm to criteria two. And the second condition is please find dates over there in that column that are less than or equal to in double quotes and join it to the date plus the upper limit hour. Now if I click on criteria two, F9, now I can see please find anything over there in that column less than or equal to the upper date plus the time. Control Z, and that is our formula. 
close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. I'm going to go to the last cell. We did it all the way towards 11 PM to midnight, F2. And we're verifying that all the cell references are pointing in the correct place, and they are. Uh-oh. We made an error with our lower and upper limit conditions. Notice that 11 PM is an upper limit. And then we use the exact same number down here for the lower limit. Anytime you have that situation, you cannot have the equal sign in both places. Now, we can put the equal sign on one side, but not the other, however we'd like. But the point is, with two equal signs, that means if there's an exactly 11 PM value, it's counted here and here. That's double counting. Control up arrow. I'm going to choose to include the lower, but not the upper. So F2, I simply take the equal sign away from the upper. Now, if one of the records includes exactly 1 AM, it's not included in this category. It's included in this category. So with the equal sign removed from the upper limit, Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Go to the last cell in F2. That is looking good. So if we want to add between a date, time, upper and lower limit, we can use some ifs, comparative operators, and double quotes in ampersand. And we simply add our date and times together. All right, if you like that video, be sure to give it that thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. We'll see you next video.